Okay, and we're going to log back in. Again, here's our message. Pirates, top secret log on warning. Welcome to top secret of the domain pirates. Unauthorized users and enemy agents will be shot for treason. And we need to switch users. Let's log back in as administrator. Someone with permission to view the security log files. So domain pirates. Administrator. Complex password. And now, let's go ahead and go to my computer. And there are several ways to access your event logs and security logs, but one of my favorite ones, just right click on my computer and go to manage. And in the management tab, there's, so there's my hourglass disappears here. Under Diagnostics, Event Viewer, and let's go ahead and look at Windows Logs, and the specific one category we're interested in is Security. Um, auditing, in this case Object Access, is a security event, and so here we can find all of our logs for our security. Let me pull this back a little bit so you guys can see. But that way, you know, if someone was poking around doing something they shouldn't be, or we got hacked or we were just interested in tweaking our security it's it's a very useful tool i can figure out you know see what was done um the date the time that it happened whether a file was accessed or not if it was successfully read or written to modified deleted changed if the directory was traversed um and these are all success audits but in addition i could generate failure audits so we'll try that real quick let's log out we'll log in as dr evil And again, remember, Dr. Evil was explicitly denied permission. So his inheritance hierarchy has been frustrated. Ha ha. He has a simple password. We'll log in as Dr. Evil, and let's generate a failure event when auditing. Yeah, so I downloaded the beta. All right, um, let's go ahead and create a couple of failure events. We'll try to do something that we're not allowed to do. So we're going to go here, we're going to go here, and we're not allowed to do that. And we won't use any secondary logon credentials. Let's try to delete this object. And again, we don't have permission to do that. Uh, let's try to go in there one more time. All right, good enough. Now let's log out and we'll log back in. And go check our security log again. Okay, and we're going to go use, uh, we'll use our My Computer shortcut again, Manage, let's go to Diagnostics. We had a long time for the hourglass to disappear, at least on this machine. Of course, it's, it's bad enough I don't have state-of-the-art hardware, but I'm also kind of splitting it up between multiple virtual machines. So I guess that makes it even worse. We're not going to blame Windows. Blame my lack of decent hardware. Uh... We can look at some of our successes to audit, and let's get on here and look at failures. These are what we're more interested in at this point from a security point of view, or a security log. So here we've audited our failures and different types of access. Let's go up here and we pull this back so you can kind of see what's going on. Pull this back some. And we can see the task here. 
And then notice we have the, the time when different events occurred and what happened. Here's one for the file system. Let's take a look at the details here. This happened on February the 19th, 2008 at 1.26 p.m. Um, it's a failure audit and it regards file system access in the computer. In this case, our host, Sarah, and the domain piratesforest.org. Uh, the event ID and a handle to an object was requested. In this case, Dr. Evil tried to read files that he was not allowed to read for a management console. Let's go here. And handle to an object was requested. And again, Windows Firewall, let's see. Count failed to log on. Let's go down. Alright, here we go. Here's our Dr. Evil. So Pirates Dr. Evil had logged in. Now we can track his progress. He logged in on February the 19th, 2008 at 1.24 p.m. and 19 seconds. He tried to access an object and failed for something that he was explicitly denied permission to. The host name in the domain piratesforest.org, host name Sarah. Dr. Evil, here's his logon ID. Here's what he tried to access, top secret. And here's the program he was using. So if you were doing some nefarious activity or trying to hack our network, this would be a nice tool to be able to track him down and see what he's up to, what he's doing. Of course, we could copy and paste this into our log file if we wanted to. Along with the handle ID, this here's the SID. Remember we talked about the RID master? Hands out banks of RIDs, and here's the specific security identifier, um, the ACEs on the DSL for the object he tried to access. So just some of our successes and failures. Aud auditing, it's a very nice feature with group policy in Active Directory. Very nice security feature indeed.